What's up, Midnight? What are you doing, Midnight? All right, guys, so I need to dig the diesel generator setup up. It's actually been stored back here all winter. I tried to cover it up to keep the rain off of it, and I think for the most part, there's no rain on it. I'm gonna get this thing yanked out of here so we can start messing with it. Today we're going to be running my diesel powered generator setup that we built in a previous video. We're going to try to run it on some vegetable oil. I went and picked this up at the store. I couldn't find any used oil. That was the plan originally. In a previous video, we ran this thing on olive oil and it actually worked pretty good. So now I want to try some vegetable oil. I've been getting a lot of requests of people wanting me to try different fuels on this thing. And to be honest, we haven't been messing with this thing lately. I've been kind of busy on other projects. We got the diesel trike up and running as well. So go check those videos out if y'all haven't checked that out. This is also something we can maybe try to run different fuels on in the future but this thing's an absolute ripper. Originally we built this, my intention was to run it on used oil and use it to charge my 48 volt battery system, you know, during a power outage or whatever. That way I could get the fuel for almost nothing and to kind of test and mess with one of these Amazon air-cooled diesel engines. This is a three horsepower, 196 cc engine. See, it's got the little fuel injector and everything right there. And we also built this in a previous video, so I'll put all those links down below if y'all wanna go check those out. Unfortunately, this thing's been sitting a lot, so these a lot of these connections are kinda of corroded, so I'm gonna have to go through and clean all that up before we actually get to use this uses. We're just gonna fire it up on the vegetable oil and just see what it runs like, hear how it runs, see if it smokes you know, excessively or whatever. I'm gonna get you guys set up on the tripod. I'm gonna get the drill plugged in so we can start this thing. This thing hasn't been ran in a few months, so hopefully it just fires right up. We're gonna throw some vegetable oil in the tank and just see what it does. All right, so just like all the tests we've done on this running different fuels, we have our little graduated cylinder here. And I went ahead and just ran a little fuel hose directly to the fuel injector. That way we know there's no diesel going into this at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some vegetable oil straight to this thing, get this thing all primed up because it does take a second to get primed. Let me know in the comments how you guys think this thing's gonna do. But this is just gonna be running it just no load, nothing crazy. I do have to redo all that kind of sorta to make it better. Anyways, so that's gonna be all done in the future. We're gonna kind of revamp this whole project, but just for now, we're gonna see if it'll even run on vegetable oil. We got a brand new thing of vegetable oil. I wanted to use used oil because I think it would have been more fun, more environmentally friendly because I had to go buy this. And also if you use used oil, I think the exhaust will smell like fries or that's what I've been told. And I wanted this thing to smell like French fries when it was running because that would be kind of funny. So I'm still looking for some. I haven't given up on the used oil. But anyways, let's throw some of this in, the, in our little fuel tank setup. All right, there we go. Now I need to try to get the air out of the lines. Also, this stuff's pretty thick. But for those of you worried about the viscosity, I ran the olive oil just like this and it was actually a little bit thicker and it ran just fine. If you're really worried about viscosity and your setup, just mix it with diesel, it'll thin it out. All right, now I'm gonna go get an extension cord to plug in our starter. Okay guys, we got our starter motor here. The reason why we use a drill to start this is number one, it's way easier to start it. And number two, when I first bought this engine, I will put a link if you guys wanna go check it out when I unboxed and try to start this. I actually broke the pull start and never bought a new one because it seems kind of hard to start, you know, it's a diesel. So let's go ahead and fire this thing up and see if she's going to run at all. Now this is probably gonna be running at first on diesel fuel. Once it's up and running, I'm gonna bring you guys in close so y'all can actually see the level of the vegetable oil going down. Then we know for sure the engine is burning it. And also when we ran it on olive oil before, you could smell the difference in the exhaust. Anyways, I'm gonna quit blabbing. I'm gonna get this thing started. All right, that was on me. I forgot to purge the air out of the line, so I went ahead and pulled the hose off. I had to pull the fuel hose off, back off the injection pump, let the oil flow out. The oil flowed out, I went ahead and stuck it back on. As y'all can see, the level went significantly lower, so I'm gonna go ahead and top this off. Now we kind of airlock the system, but not a big deal, I'll get it running again. And just to refresh anyone's memory on what this thing actually is, it is a three horsepower, 196 cc diesel engine that we bought on Amazon. And we attached it with a V-belt to this six phase brushless scooter motor out of a big Chinese brushless electric scooter. So we have six wires coming out of it, two separate phases going through these full bridge rectifiers. And then right here we get power out. All right guys, I got the level back up to about 80 cc's. First test, fully on vegetable oil. All right, guys, I actually stepped inside the house because of how loud that thing is. But as y'all can see, it runs really good on vegetable oil. The exhaust does smell different than it did on diesel fuel. And it kind of smells the same as it did on olive oil. So 
I guess real no surprise there. If you're going to do this kind of thing long term, I have heard that this will coke up the combustion chamber. Kind of keep that in mind if this is what you're gonna do. I would probably cut this with diesel if I was actually going to try to use this as real fuel instead of just messing around with it like we are in this video. But I'm gonna let it run all that vegetable oil out. That way you guys can see it will run on it just fine in case anyone thinks there's still any residual fuel left in the system that is not olive oil. We're gonna let it burn all this fuel until this graduated cylinder is completely dry and we will know the test is a success. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed the video up just because we don't need to sit here for five minutes and watch this thing run. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and increase the throttle real quick, bring the RPMs up a little bit. All right, guys, I have the Revolutions RPM of the engine increased by about, maybe about 50% throttle. And that's it, this thing seems to be running pretty good. So we're just gonna let it run. I'm sure my neighbors love me because this thing is kind of loud. All right, guys, I went ahead and shut it off right before we get to the bottom. That way I don't airlock the fuel system because it is kind of a pain to bleed. As you guys saw, it ran perfect on vegetable oil. So in the next video, in the next test, we're gonna be doing some vegetable oil under load to make sure the engine can handle it. And we're also gonna see what kind of fuel economy we get. I'm gonna figure out a way to set up a standard test of like a certain amount of wattage draw, see how many watt hours we get and those kind of things. But I wanna kind of set that up really good to give you guys really good results. I have done it in the past and we got pretty good results, but I wanna make sure I can replicate it every single time. That way we can try all kinds of different fuels. Same thing with the diesel trike. That's the big 418 cc diesel. But that's it, guys. It's gonna wrap it up for now. Let me know what else you guys want to see. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see y'all later.